Hello viewers, today we are going to see Funk in a C sharp. What is Funk? Funk is a generic uh, delicate uh, type in a C sharp. Normally you know that a uh, delicate uh, will help us to a uh, point one method. So same uh, if you uh, uh, come with a generic, so uh, it is uh, defined from the C sharp. Yes, uh, there is a uh, generic uh, type which uh, delicate has in a C sharp so that is a funk so uh, how to uh, achieve the uh, delicate the function whatever uh, the concepts that uh, implement by the delegate how to achieve in a funk we going to see so uh, before that I going to create one sample method I'm, g I'm going to create one static method simple sum operation this accept the two parameters int x and y so this will return me the okay uh, my uh, sum operation it, it going to return me uh, the sum of the two parameter which is okay so how to achieve uh, uh, this sum operation uh, with the using the func operation so generally func uh, what it will uh, uh, contain is uh, func actually uh, it will accept the three uh, or more than uh, parameters uh, so uh, mandatory is one output parameter and uh, maximum of parameter that you can supply for the input so let's go and uh, create our func to uh, call this sum operation and achieve this so see if you see here so default uh, one output result must be there so we have to declare one uh, parameter that uh, get the output of that and see uh, the second option it's a uh, one input and uh, two output so input is uh, a type saved it's a, a generic uh, whatever the type you are uh, pausing then according to that it will re return see it is a see now if you are seeing input uh, two inputs and three inputs four inputs five inputs six seven eight nine so it will be keep increasing so you can uh, based on um, any type uh, you can push it but uh, mandatory is one output so here uh, we need uh, uh, two input parameter and one output because two input is x and y and uh, output is the same uh, type so uh, here uh, my uh, t so here what we going going to pass is we have to uh, pass the type of uh, the input parameters and the output parameters so here we need a uh, two input parameters and one output parameters so func okay and this uh, type is for okay uh, so uh, I will create on a func and assign the sum class to to my func so now uh, if I call add operation uh, it will uh, default it will return me the output so now uh, I have the um, method called sum that I assign to my func so normally you know that func is actually a generic uh, delicate so if you go what is a delicate a delicate is uh, actually the pointer of the method so uh, generic uh, you know the generic is uh, to help you to uh, achieve uh, uh, the types safe uh, it means like uh, it will return you any output and it will accept to any input uh, based on that so uh, that is what actually here so in a, a runtime or in a compile time you can uh, pause uh, your uh, types and get the value so function is a generic delicated okay fine so now uh, the final result I going to return is I going to return my sum operation by uh, using the 
generic uh, func okay and it will accept that two input and one output parameters so two comma three we know that it's a value it should return me the five because uh, this is additional operation so uh, uh, so func uh, hold the method sum sum uh, it will accept the two parameter and return one parameter let's uh, go and run my application yep so finally I got the result 5 so this is the uh, way to use the func in the application so func uh, you, you can have the multiple methods uh, based on the uh, type suppose I have one more uh, method with accept the three parameter yes you can and uh, you pass the one more type and uh, so you assign this method to the func func so you can call the func and uh, achieve this operation so func is uh, to point the method uh, with uh, type safe so that is what actually the func it's a generic delegate you should keep in mind so whenever you want to use uh, to achieve the delegate uh, with the generic you have to go with the func so func is uh, the namespace uh, actually it is a, a generic uh, delegate so if you see mouse over you can able to see that it's a encapsulated method that has a two parameter and return value of the type specified with the t result t result is nothing but uh, any type okay hopes you understand if you have any d uh, doubts comments uh, please uh, share with uh, in a comment section if you're not subscribed before our channel please subscribe it if you like my video like it if not like then unlike it